First, the USDA's Justice for All non-discriminatory statement, which simply states that all persons must be treated equally without regard to their race, color, national origin, sex, religious creed, disability, age, political beliefs, or reprisal or retaliation for prior civil rights activity, and that our institution provides an inclusive space for all. For more information on the And Justice for All statement, please visit the USDA's website. Hey everyone, and welcome back to our Let's Talk My Plate video series. Uh, my name is Kami and I'm a nutrition educator for Rutgers Cooperative Extension in the Department of Family and Community Health Sciences for New Jersey SNAP Ed. And today with our Let's Talk My Plate video series, we are gonna be tackling physical activity. Yes, physical activity. Although it's not shown on my plate, it's still important and it's still considered under my plate because nutrition and physical activity go hand in hand. Now during um, the rest of this video, we'll go into detail of what physical activity is, why it's important, and how to incorporate it on uh, your schedule and in your life. So let's talk about physical activity and specifically exercise, being active. Being active is an important part of a healthy lifestyle. And that's the whole reason why physical activity is considered a part of my plate. Nutrition and proper and good nutrition goes hand in hand with proper and good exercise. And that creates a healthy lifestyle. So the definition of physical activity is any movement that requires energy. That's pretty easy, right? But for health reasons, physical activity should be moderate or vigorous, which means it gets your heart rate above its normal resting levels. For example, walking to the car. If you're walking to the car um, at your normal pace, leisurely pace, your heart rate may stay the same. Does not increase, does not decrease. However, if you're walking or running to the car, rushing to get somewhere, you'll notice that your heart rate is elevated. That's a form of physical activity, getting your heart rate at a moderate or vigorous level. You know, it is above its normal resting levels. So everyone knows that they should exercise, but what are the, some of the reasons of why it's important to exercise? It all comes down to aging. And as we get older, we naturally lose our muscle mass. And doing regular physical activity, it helps build or maintain the muscle mass that we already have. It also improves our flexibility and balance that we need to help prevent things like falls or to help manage chronic health conditions. Chronic health conditions can be heart disease, type two diabetes, hypertension, osteoporosis, back pain, and arthritis. So it basically comes down to maintaining the muscle mass that we have or building it as we get older to prevent the chances of the risk of developing chronic health conditions. Don't worry, there are plenty of more reasons to exercise. Reasons like helping you maintain your weight. So the more exercise you get, the more calories you burn. So the more physically active you are, the greater you are able to reach or stay at your healthy weight. Exercise also helps you sleep better. Um, it's been proven that you fall asleep faster and more quickly and more sound. Uh, and you also feel more refreshed in the morning. It also helps with mental alertness. Um, studies show that being physically active uh, gives you a better chance of having better memory recall, more relaxation time and concentration. It also helps with bone health. You have good bone health with exercise because it increases the bone mass and decreases your risk of falls or breaks. Um, it also provides you with more energy. The more exercise you get, the better you feel and the more energy you have. So now that we know all of the benefits you can get, the health benefits that you can get from exercise and being physically active, how much exercise and physical activity do you actually need in order to reap those benefits? 
Well, the recommended amount of physical activity for kids is 60 minutes a day, and for adults is 30 minutes a day, five days a week. So ask yourself, do you get enough of the recommended amount of physical activity per week? Well, if you answered no, please do not feel bad. We're only human. So let's talk about some of those human-like barriers that can get in the way of getting in our physical activity. The first barrier we're gonna talk about is time. Time because we all have busy schedules, five, six, seven days out of the week that are jam packed and it just seems impossible to fit either 30 minutes or 60 minutes of physical activity in there. But our recommendation would be to start small. You can break up physical activity throughout the day, multitask while you are physically active and fit it into your day the way your day flows. For example, if we're thinking of breaking down 30 minutes of physical activity for the day into 10 minute segments, 10 minute walks per day, um, it gets easier and more feasible. Also, if you multitask while doing physical activity, it lets time fly by and you still get that quality workout in. So breaking it up between the day does not mean that you get less of a workout in. You're still accomplishing your goal of 30 minutes per day. Um, so don't worry about lessening the quality or feeling like you don't have time. Starting small or multitasking while you're being physically active is a great way to overcome that barrier of time. Another barrier can be money. Money because we think of being physically active um, as getting a gym membership or buying those um, latest and greatest exercise machines, bands, equipment that, need, that we need to be fit. But we do not need any of that to be physically active. Later on throughout this video, we're gonna talk about examples of how you can be physically active indoors and out with no equipment at all. And the last barrier that we're gonna talk about would be just not liking exercise at all. You may have tried it in the past or you may have been an athlete and you've just grown weary of it, tired of it, don't like sweating, um, don't know how to start or plain out just don't like it. That's okay. Hopefully you'll find a new activity with the suggestions that we're gonna give towards the end of the video of different ways to be physically active and exercise. Also, if you don't like exercise, what can help with this barrier would be asking for support from friends and family. Good company makes exercise so much more enjoyable. You can also incorporate good music into it. Good music motivates you. Your favorite tunes can really get you going as you exercise and that exercise is over in a breeze. So good company, good support and good music and trying a new activity. Um, hopefully these are things that you can try to help you get over that barrier of not liking exercise. Okay, so now let's talk about some suggestions on getting started. How can we get started with being physically active or exercising with no special gym equipment or membership. Um, so here are some examples on how you can do that indoors and outdoors. So you can walk briskly outside and inside, or you can go upstairs repeatedly inside or outside. Um, running is a great way to be physically active. Dancing is a great way to be physically active. Just turning on your favorite music and dancing, or you can dance while you're watching a television show. Just make sure that there's plenty of space for you to move around safely. Another great way would be yoga and or other physical activity and exercise videos. These are great resources that you can find at your local library or online. There are a ton available, but make sure that you're getting your exercise videos or your workouts from credible sources. Um, people who have um, certifications and the criteria to actually be teaching you how to exercise. 
And you also want to start with some um, name or lessons that have the words beginner or easy in them if you're starting out, just to make sure that you're going to get a safe workout in. And then you can work your way up from there. Another great example would be chair exercises. Chair exercises are a safe and great way to work out while indoors, on a meeting call, um, on a phone call, um, or just to work out your upper body. And you don't need weights to lift while you're doing chair exercises. You can do arm circles, or you can lift your coffee mug with repetition a couple of times. Start easy and simple. When the weather gets nicer outside, you can also go swimming or garden outside. Those are great workouts, which also double as activities and hobbies. And then last but not least, and is still a workout, is doing housework. Now I know I'm not the only one who has broken a sweat while sweeping the floors or mopping the, the stairs, anything like that. Definitely break a sweat. Doing housework is a great way to be physically active. So let's talk about some of the takeaways that we learned today about physical activity. Physical activity goes hand in hand with proper nutrition and is both fun and healthy. And we need physical activity in order to reduce the risk of chronic disease. But we also gain a lot of health benefits from physical activity positive health benefits like weight management and better sleep. You can exercise indoors and outdoors with no money, little time, and fun built in it. And we recommend starting small and simple and then build from there. If an activity is new to you, make sure you stretch and take the proper precautions before you get started. Start simple and small like breaking it up into time segments and build as you get used to it. For more information on MyPlate, you can check out our other videos in our Let's Talk MyPlate video series on our Facebook page or visit www.myplate.gov. Thanks for watching.